What is up guys, welcome back to my daily vlog. Today we are heading over to Milton Keynes, which is about 20 minutes from my mum and dad's house in Leighton Buzzard. I have been insured on my mum's car, and this is gonna be my first time driving a car with a right-hand drive and a clutch and a gearbox in quite a while, so wish me luck. <laughs> that was not intentional. <laughs> As you can see from the video, it is just absolutely grey outside. It's nowhere near as cold as we thought it was going to be. We're both still pretty chilly though. Taking you on this journey, the woman behind the camera. So we made it to Milton Keynes. I think the drive went pretty well considering I haven't driven that car in a while. We've come to Milton Keynes Shopping Centre, which is relatively new, I guess. But we've parked on the roof and you can see over here you've got a place called Escape. I think it's the first indoor snow slope in the UK. I'm not sure about that though. Over here is a place called The Point, which opened up in the 80s and it was like an arcade and nightclub and like just a really, really cool area. It's closed down now, there's nothing going on. If someone has just bought it, they're gonna knock it down and make it into apartments. And apparently there's a huge petition going on, which I have signed for it to stay up. It is really part of the history here. So I am a happy man now because I've got Starbucks noise i don't understand why you would do that whilst so so i am a happy man because the first thing we found is a starbucks it's the closest thing to a coffee that i actually like so we came to milton Keynes because whenever we are in england we like to do some shopping because everything is so much cheaper here the quality is really good as well in england i really yeah. took it for granted when i used to live here in Dubai, you pay so much money for not a lot, really. It's true, isn't it? And bad quality, really. And bad quality, yeah. Um, so every time we come, we try and do as much as we can. Last time we came, actually, we were in a place called Primark, which is like her version of heaven. It's just loads of really cheap clothes, but the quality is really, really good. We bought so much that we had to buy another suitcase from Primark to take back with us. Come to a place called Byron Burger in Milton Keynes Shopping Centre. I've never heard of this place before, but it seems like a really nice place. The menu's really, really big, and the one thing that I've noticed in the UK is they've got a lot of vegan options. Like every single menu has got at least two or three vegan options, loads of vegetarian options that you can usually make vegan as well. I've ordered a really nice vegan burger. I did take out all the sauce, I did take out some of the vegetables, but getting a patty, some vegan cheese, a vegan bun. I'm looking forward to it. So, barbecue for you? Thank you. There you go. Thank you very much. Cheers. Burger King, I have to do a routine check to make sure the sauce has been taken out. A little bit plain because I'm very fussy. It tastes awesome. The cheese is amazing. The sun has gone down now and it's only five o'clock because we are well into late autumn and early winter. We were only supposed to stay here for a couple of hours but we've been here for about five hours now. We've been to Primark, been to Boots. Everything is so much cheaper here than Dubai so every time we come we just absolutely stock up on everything we can. We've come down to my favourite part of the shopping centre now, this is called Middleton Hall. They always have this massive Christmas display where my parents used to bring us when we were kids. As you can see in the background there's a train going around, there's lights, there's Santa's Grotto, everything. So we're going to take a little walk around. This is going to be Amani's first Christmas in England, even though we're going home in a couple of days, but still. It'll be her first time being in England when there's Christmas decorations, so that's all that matters. You are Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. There's like <laughs> snow being projected onto the floor. There's all these little polar bears wearing scarves. There's a wishing well with a manny taking pictures of it. There's a big snow igloo there. What do you think of Annie? I love it. It's so cute. Look at your little Christmas straw. One of, one of my dreams when I was a little girl was to go on those horses. Do you want to go on it? I've never had any. Do you want to go on it? No, I'm too embarrassed. No.
want penny cufflinks? That's amazing. Yeah. We've come to this really nice stall where this guy hand makes these necklaces out of old English currency. He's got like shillings and farthings, like even more recent stuff from like the 80s and like early 90s. Like any year that you can think of, he's got it. The quality of it is absolutely outstanding. And Manny's now trying one on because I think she wants one. So that is the end of our day. I've enjoyed myself. Have you enjoyed yourself? Yes, very much. What was your favourite part? Um, the shop with all the pennies and necklaces. Yeah, she bought this really nice necklace. I'll get some better shots of it tomorrow because the lighting in there really wasn't that good. It made it look really cheap, but it's really, really nice. I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier, but Milton Keynes is, or it used to be, the longest shopping centre in all of Europe. Or maybe Western Europe. Yeah. Or maybe England, I'm not sure. We walked all the way down to see the Christmas stuff. Now we've got to walk all the, way back. all the way back to get to the car. Now that I'm filming a video every single day, I need to learn to end it sooner rather than later, because otherwise I'll be up all night editing videos and I'm very tired. So that is the end of our video. Say goodbye, Manny. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yes. And that's it. Thanks, bye. Thanks, bye.